What's up, you guys? What up, my eighth graders? Just want to quickly go over what you need to do and what's required for your eighth for your uh, Thanksgiving packet. All right, here we go. So, um, long story short, the first thing that you have to do um, is you have to read. It, right? Um, you're gonna number each each paragraph. I'm just do this first one right here. First paragraph, number one. All right. Next, we need to highlight a main idea. All right. So we have to read it in order to do that. I'm going to get my highlighter, mark of two. Boom, boom. Okay, okay, okay. I like this last line, really. So I'm going to highlight it. All right. Highlight it here. Okay. If you don't have a highlight, you can just use a pencil or a pen or whatever, like, you know, so have you. All right. So I highlighted my key main idea right here. Almost 900,000 square miles were added to the United States. Napoleon Bonaparte's ambition doubled the size of the United States. Boom. So with that being said, now I need a movie title. Movie title that best represents this paragraph. Um, I'm going to just do my text box right here. Uh, I'm going to call this The Double Up. So if this was a movie, I think it would be called The Double Up. Because the United States doubled in size as a result of this land real estate deal. All right. Boom. Got my movie title there. You will repeat this, these steps for each paragraph, you guys. After you've gotten through your movie titles, at the end of each section, you got four sections total. Some of them are really short. You would answer your check for understanding questions. You repeat the movie titles and answer your check for understanding questions in complete sentences. And you'll probably you're going to have to answer your check for understanding questions um, for the end of section one right here and, and all of them on a separate sheet of paper. So, for instance, this first says, why did Napoleon want Louisiana? Why did he change his mind? All right. You read it at least twice. Identify your keywords out of the, out of the question. Then you go to your text. You've already broken the section down with movie titles and main ideas. So you essentially know where different parts are now. But still, you look for those keywords. Once you find them in the text and different parts, you you find evidence to actually help you answer the question. You write in a complete sentence, re re uh, cite, restate, answer, one sentence, you're on to the next. All right, and you repeat that process for each one. So um, I'll do one more movie title for you. Let me check out paragraph two. That's all you got to do, you guys. You have four sections total. You your questions are at the end of each section. 100 points. You got this. Let's do that second paragraph. Second paragraph. One more quick example. Paragraph two, you got to number it. I'm going to highlight my main idea. This time I'm going to use a different color for my highlighter. Blue, yellow. After the French Revolution, Napoleon seized power in France and set out to conquer the world. Restoring the French Empire and the New World was part of his grand plan. And he wanted Louisiana as a as the base for his military operations in North America. All right, so I like this part right here, the second line. He was trying to restore the French Empire and the New World. That was a part of his grand plan. He wanted Louisiana as his base military operations all right cool so if this was a movie i would call it let's see what would i call it i would call this um big plans let's stretch this out all right got my movie title oh big plans not gig plans all right. He had big plans for Louisiana, but they didn't fall through. Um, but that's my movie title. And it goes in line with my main idea because he did have major plans for the for the colony. So you're going to repeat that, you guys. Movie titles, number paragraphs, main ideas highlighted for each chunk and your check for understanding questions at the end of each section. 100 points. Make sure you write a complete sentences, citing evidence, restating and answering at the end. One sentence type uh, response, one sentence summary structure we use in class for your sh uh, check for understanding questions. You're going to have to do it on a separate sheet of paper because there's not a lot of room to do the check for understanding questions. But that is it, you guys. If you have any questions, hit me up on Google Classroom and be a little bit more active on there tomorrow. I'll be grading some papers and things and some work. Um, so you can hit me up in the private comments on there or on Remind. And as always, it's great.